We now know officially that George Santos is under investigation by the House Ethics Committee. The House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, confirming that to CNN for the first time earlier today. But the freshman Republican says he is not concerned that even as he faces mounting problems on multiple fronts. And get this, a busload of his constituents right now is on the way to Washington to call on Mr. Santos to be expelled from Congress. Who is representing us? I feel like this is a, some kind of storybook character that's, that's scamming us and laughing because we're being scammed. It's amazing that somebody can just lie, lie as much as he did without any compassion of who he's insulted. Our great reporters are back with us. Uh, he is a storybook character, Mel. And uh, the speaker today confirming for the first time the House Ethics Committee is taking a look. We know that the FEC and regulatory agencies are looking at his campaign. We know the Justice Department has an investigation of some of his cat. But George Santos says, first day of the union tonight, all's good. Yeah, so George Santos, we know he's under investigation now by the House Ethics Committee. He's fa facing these litany of investigations. Um, he has been really trying to push back in a way that we haven't seen before, and he's been really defiant in face of these calls to resign. Um, but for Kevin McCarthy, the strategy here is to just keep distance. They can really hide behind the fact that there is an investigation um, on the House Ethics Committee at the federal, local, state levels, and they can say, let's just let those play out before we have to make a decision. But there will be a time when the House Ethics Committee makes some sort of a determination. There could be an indictment that comes down, and then House GOP leadership will have to make a decision about how they're going to handle this member. If they do push him out of Congress, there's going to be a special election. They could lose that seat. Um, but for now, they're just hoping that this all goes away. And, and one of the questions, or, or several of the questions, revolve around campaign finance. There's a great CNN story today by our team. Santos' unusual $199.99 campaign expenses are putting scrutiny on his longtime treasurer. Uh, the reporting shows that this treasurer also at one point worked for Lee Zeldin, former congressman and for governor of New York, and the same thing. You have to, report, you have to detail anything above $200. So if it's $199.99, raises some skepticism there. But listen to George Santos. He says, well, I'm the congressman. That's my campaign. I'm not a campaign treasurer. I couldn't answer that for you. I, so you're saying you're I unaware of those were listed? Like I said, I don't do my own treasury. Never did. Uh, forgive me, but that's a cop-out. I don't do my own treasury. Never <laughs> did. Uh, the candidate is the CEO of the campaign. Like it or not, you got to pay attention. Yeah, sure. And, and there seems to be no question that this kind of conveyor belt of accusations and stuff is going to keep coming. The, the question is whether we know how it impacts Santos. The question is whether it will continue to erode, erode trust in other Republicans and McCarthy. I think McCarthy's statement is, if ethics finds something, you know, we'll take action. But, like, do the American people really have confidence that with these paper-thin majorities in the, in, in the House, that they actually will, will, you know, will take action and expel them? Yeah, what does it do to the Republican brand if they continue to defend the guy and say he gets to be on committees, he gets to do all these things? He's asked voluntarily to step down from committees because the Speaker finally realized it was becoming an embarrassment. But I've been doing this a long time. Uh, do you ever remember a freshman member of Congress who has consumed so much oxygen? No. Um, and I, we are just in this incredible, remarkable news cycle where every day there does seem to be some new story, some new lie, some new fabrication, some peculiar yeah. you know, narrative from his past. Uh, but I do think what's remarkable, Mel, you should correct me if I'm wrong, but it does seem like even you know, compared to a couple of weeks ago when we didn't know all of the information we know now, I mean, he's kind of in the same place, right, when it comes to the big question of whether he is close to being expelled from Congress. Congress. Like, we are waiting for the House Ethics Committee to now do this investigation. As you said, McCarthy is basically deferring to that committee. But at this moment in time, even under the, you know, the pressure that he is facing, even given all of that, he's not really close to being expelled from Congress. No, I do think it's interesting, though, that some of these other House Republicans from New York in his freshman class have gone out of their way to call for him to resign. I mean, to your point, Cleve, this is them recognizing that this could be a huge problem for them. Whatever happens to Santos, right. this could call, fall back on them. And so they're trying to create that distance. Even McCarthy seems to be inching there. He needs the vote, but even he seems to slowly be coming to the realization this dance is not going to last all that long.